Have you ever seen a more perfect image carousel? This rotate effect is triggered on scroll, so when I scroll back up, it reverses. Kind of feel like I'm spinning the wheel of fortune here. And once I found out that this is possible, I had some fun and created this other example. And I just wanted to show you that this is actually also possible with any widget. As you can see, I have inserted a button here and here, and you can actually insert any heading or any other elements of widget. And yes, it is of course responsive. So let me go ahead and show you how to recreate this from scratch without a plugin. Yeah! As you can see, I still have the header and the hero section, but down here I will recreate the entire carousel effect. And by the way, you can download all the images I've used to create this project down in the description below. Okay, so let me go ahead and create the first container and set this container to full width like this and set it to 100 percentage. Down here in the height, you need to find view height and set it to 500. So now you can see there is a lot we can scroll upon. This is because we need the page to be long, but don't worry, the visitors can't see this. And make sure the direction is set to down. Then go into style because I almost never want the background to be white. It just becomes too flat and bright. So I always use this eggshell color or something like it. It's not something you notice as a visitor, but it really levels up your design. Then the last thing you want to do is to go to advanced and find CSS class. Here you will need to type in scroller. We'll use this for later. By the way, a quick side note, if you want to save time, you can download this as a ready to import template. You don't have to do this, but if you're interested, just click I want this. And then you'll get this JSON file, download it and import it directly into an empty Elementor page like this. But for those of you who want to build this from scratch, let's go back into Elementor and continue. Next step is to create a new container inside and drag it in here, set it to full width. 100% and down here set it to 100 view height instead. The next step gave me a lot of trouble in the beginning so make sure to get it right. Go inside advanced and find motion effects. Inside motion effect you need to find sticky and set this to top and make sure it's stay in column. You'll see why it's important in a moment. Now inside the container we made just drag in a heading. We want it to look like the final result, so go ahead and type in scroll to discover and make sure it's centered. And insert this icon so we know where the center is and make it black. Okay, last step before the fun part begins. Go ahead and insert a new container underneath this and make sure the direction is right and set it to no wrap. And lastly, go inside advanced find transform and find this offset make sure it's in percentage and it's set to 50. okay now to the fun part let's go ahead and create our carousel so go ahead and find the images you want in the carousel i'll just drag the first one in here and choose this shoe and make sure it's full width and if you want the images to link to something just go ahead and activate this and make it ready to insert a URL. Then go ahead to advanced and change the width of the images. It's too large right now. So set it to custom and change this to pixels and just 450. Set the size to grow and down in position, you set this to absolute and you don't need to do anything else with this. Just leave it as it is and give the image a CSS class of slide this will make the image rotate in a moment. Last thing before we can duplicate this image is go to transform and find offset again and make sure it's set to percentage and write in 130 minus. This will make sense in a moment. All right, so now go ahead and duplicate the image. As you can see, all the images lay on top of each other so you can't see them. So that's why I'll just right click and find this navigator and this will give me an overview of how many images I have. I'll just create seven and I can always change them again after this. So one last step before we're done 
and this is where the magic happens. You will need to insert a few lines of code. But don't worry, you don't need to write any code, you just need to go to the link in the description and find this JavaScript code. As you can see, there is a copy button here, I'll just click on it. And by the way, you can also find the classes I used down here. So click on the copy button and go back to Elementor and search for the HTML widget and drag it in at the bottom. Like this, it should be all the way at the bottom. And then insert the code you just copied. Okay, now go ahead and click update and let's view it. I'll just open a new tab and scroll down to the section. And now you can see our carousel is sliding or scrolling or rotating. But I see one small problem and that is that we need some more space at the top because right now the scrolling starts when the section reaches this point. So just go back and find the heading and give it 70 at the top and the container that the heading is inside, click on that and give it some padding, maybe just 150 pixels. Then go ahead and click update and we'll go ahead and refresh this. So now you can see when you scroll down, it stops and there is some space here. So what about if you want to use this on a mobile or a tablet? I'll just quickly show you how to make this responsive inside the Elementor editor. You need to find this responsive mode and click on it and then choose mobile view. When you scroll down to the section, you will notice that you can't see the images. I'll just click on one and if I change the width, you can suddenly see them because they are all outside here. So I'll just recommend that you have a physical iPhone where you can see all the changes you make. So I'll just reverse this and make it the same size as before. So what you need to do is go inside the container that you made at the beginning, the container where all the content in is inside and then go to layout or it's actually this container, my bad. Go into layout and make sure it's the right container. The, the right container has a view height of 500. Then go down to additional options and click on overflow and make it hidden. This will make sure that you don't have this horizontal scroll at the bottom. And that's actually it. You'll just have to go ahead and change the view width of each image so it fits your needs. And if you have any trouble, then I can recommend go inside uh, the transform mode and change this offset so uh, the shoe or the image is placed where you want it. Remember to do this on all the images. If you enjoyed this video and want more scroll trigger tutorials, then check out this next video where I demonstrate how to create a reveal on scroll effect for free. You can watch it right here.